Okay, so if you clicked on this video, you probably misclicked. I'm just kidding. You probably really need help with the new session editor and you want to start making some really good looking clips, kind of like these. You know what it is. Yeah. How about the whip? What's going on guys? My name's Kiva. Session guy new update. Really awesome. New editor is out and a lot of people are really needing help with it. Especially a lot of people that are coming over from Skater XL. They're having a lot of trouble and there's a lot to go over. I just want to help. I've talked to a lot of people, even people that have been playing the game for a long time, who have been just having trouble doing a lot of things with the editor. They thinking that some things are have been replaced when really they've just been slightly changed. You're gonna go over everything in the new editor. Uh, check it out. I'm gonna show you how to make some good clips and go. And go hopefully, hopefully by the end of this, you'll you'll be coming out here with, with some bomb ass clips. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is set up a trick. Okay, so we got our impossible crook. Now we're gonna edit it. Now all you wanna do is press back on your controller, press select, whatever the button is, just press that button and you'll end up in the editor. Let's go over the basic controls. You use your left and right triggers to screw up through, scrub, scrub up through your footage, right? You can raise and lower your camera with the D-pad up and down. You change your keyframes with left and right. You can see in the bottom left here, I'm changing my keyframes. So we have camera, field of view, depth of field and play rate and also the tag keyframe but uh i wouldn't worry too much about the tag keyframe uh we're just going to focus on the main keyframes uh camera field of view depth of field and play rate i'm gonna try to do something with depth of field right now it really only works with um so to get depth of field you have to be pretty far away from your skater you move the camera around with the stick you rotate it with the other stick with the right stick right stick move <laughs> right stick rotate left stick move montage view is left bumper we're going to go over that in a minute this this button right here this little button you hold you see how it's switching stuff this this is your best friend in the editor get used to using this button right here get used to just holding it for stuff uh you hide your ui using triangle or y and then you can change your cameras using square change it from free camera tripod camera game camera filmer camera as for a second person an actual second person can be here with another controller filming you orbit camera it's pretty same pretty much same stuff if you played xl the more advanced stuff comes from the shift control when you hold r1 uh then your controls completely change on you you can add keyframes by pressing up and down on the d-pad um, you can switch between keyframes by pressing left and right. Uh, you can start your clip. So let's go to the beginning of the clip here. I'm going to just go ahead and use the, uh, orbit cam. All right. So this is the beginning of the clip right here. So we're going to hold our best friend R1 and then we're going to click in the left stick. And that's going to set the start position. It's going to trim to the start. I think that's what they call it next level trimming. Then we're gonna go all the way to the end, hold R1 again, and then click the right stick. Now, while we're inside these brackets, you can see the brackets up there. We're gonna hold R1 again, and we're gonna hit triangle. So now we can start editing. So you wanna make sure your keyframe is set to camera. Make sure you have it on the camera that you want. Let's start like right here, looking at the sun, blend our eyes out, you know what I'm saying? I'll go for it a little bit, pan it down. Uh, hold on, let's tilt it. Gotta do tilt it. That's one thing I forgot to mention. If you want to tilt your camera, hold R1 and then use the triggers. You can tilt however much you want. You can tilt. Okay, so let's tilt it. Something stupid. Come back, and tilt it back regular because I'm not on drugs. Hit that as a frame. Pop that frame. And all I'm doing here is holding R1 and pressing down on the D-pad, and it will tell you. Then that's how you make a keyframe. You hold 
and you press down to make the keyframe, you press up to delete it. Boom on that. We got our clip. Now, we have these keyframes set, but you see they're not following. I'm still like free camera, free balling it. What you want to do is you want to hit L1, and that's going to turn montage view on. And now it's going to follow your frames. So if you hit Y, we can look at this and see how it looks. Pretty good. Now, you are probably wondering, how do I get it from different angles? What if I want it to stop at a keyframe? So you, so I can switch keyframes right here, like boom, left, right. All I'm doing is holding R1 and using the left and right D-pad. You can switch. So what if I want it to stop here and not there? I want it to stop here. Hold R1, your best friend, again. Hold that again, and then you press L1, and you can switch through the types of keys. You see they got linear keys, constant keys, and smooth keys. I'm gonna show you what each of those do. Smooth keys you already see, makes everything look nice, smooth, like butter. The linear keys. Linear keys is gonna make it look not as smooth, but it's still gonna transition. So let's just go ahead and look at this. You see how it's all robotic now? Like the old replay editor. That's what linear does for you. Constant keys. Constant keys is how you get static, static camera positions, like camera changes, all that. You do that with constant. And you can just overwrite any of the keys that you previously made by just adding a new key. Just hit the add new key button right on top of the uh, old key and it will overwrite it. So yeah, if we go to linear keys, L1 and R1, or we go over to constant keys, L1 and R1, we can just overwrite it, boom, overwrite, 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 and you should see it's just going to jump. See? That's what constant does. Uh, very useful in its own way. Okay, one more thing. While I was actually editing this video, I forgot to mention one of the coolest parts of the replay editor is that you can actually see your camera frames in real time. Let me show you what I mean here. So if you go to start, um, and you go to replay editor, you can have camera path display mode. And if you turn that on, if you turn on full path, what that does is uh, when, it, when in the replay edit editor, and view montage is off. The path that the replay camera will take will be displayed, okay? So, if you turn off montage view, you're gonna be able to see your camera path. And boom, here is my camera path. This shows all of the motions my camera takes. Yes, I have a pretty static filming style, I know. Didn't really need to do much. All I needed to do was have the camera move. It works for me, whatever. Let's say, let's just go ahead and delete these real fast. We can see the full camera path. It might be easier to see it at night. All right, there we go. It is way easier to see this at night. So if you look at this, you can actually see the full path the camera takes. Really cool and really helpful. Allows you to see what kind of keyframes. You see we use smooth frames, so the pathing is very smooth, like a Vespa. And uh, yeah, that's just uh, a little cool addition. You're actually able to see wh what your camera's doing. Uh, can't believe I almost forgot to throw this in the video. <laughs> Next up, let's go back we have the FOV. Just hit right on the D-pad, you'll change your keyframe effect, you go to FOV, you're all good. FOV does, it gives you like organic fisheye, you know you can zoom out by turning the FOV up. You can go in a lot. You can go in like pretty far and you'll see soon. All right, so that's gonna be my first FOV key. And you can see it is zoomed in, kind of. Now, when the pop comes, I'm gonna go ahead and set another FOV key. And there, we see a zoom in, right? Place a smooth there at the beginning. We 
you see it zoom in but you know we got to fix it so see me zoom in and really I'm gonna go ahead and delete that I want another 90 smooth right here we're just going to use all smooths you pretty much just want to use smooth and linear for this you don't want to use constant unless you're like doing some crazy shit um, okay now i want it to go down here maybe not right there maybe like right there turn it down okay maybe i want it to stop right here Go and zoom out. Let me zoom out to 45. And then zoom out some more. And now we go back to Cali. No, to, uh, <laughs> we're gonna go back to our FOV, right? I mean, uh, to our camera. And we're just gonna clean this up. Here, we're gonna. Get the feet here. I'm gonna delete that straight up. Go get some more feet. That's actually a really good frame right there. And then tilt it over just a little bit. And now it looks uh it looks a lot better. Pretty good, pretty good. We can take it steps further though. We can take it a lot further. I actually want to add one more here. Maybe zoom it out. Five more. And when it goes up. Like that. And then boom. Pretty good. I don't really want to get into depth of field because it's very, very tricky and it doesn't work very well when you do close up uh, lens stuff. Uh, we'll try it on our next trick. All right, play rate. Play rate is next. Now, let's get some slow-mo in here. You can get some slow-mo right here when I pop. To get slow-mo, you pretty much uh, do the same thing you've been doing with all the other keys, uh, except you want to mainly use constant keys. Unless you're trying to do some ramp up slow-mo, you want to always be using constant keys and try, unless you're trying to slowly ramp something up. Uh, so we're going to place one at the, uh, at the beginning. Uh, and then when I pop here, as soon as you see uh, the cheeks, we're gonna place another one. And we're just gonna bring that down. Gotta whip those cheeks around. Maybe 15 is too much, maybe 25. Yeah, and then... You see that, the top of the foot, I actually really like it like this. We're gonna set another one, and it's just gonna stop abruptly. And as soon as my foot stops clipping through the board, I'm gonna set another one. I think I'm gonna set this one at like 1C45. And then I'm not gonna set it straight to 100. I wanna slow up the grind a little bit, show off a little bit. So I'm gonna set it to 0.7. And then I'm gonna set it back to 100. Turn this down a little bit more. Maybe actually, I want uh, I want to ramp this up a little bit. So throw throw a little bit of ramp action in there. Show you what that's like. 0.25. Then we go ramp it up, right? So I'm gonna choose linear right here. And we're gonna ramp it up to like six. Yeah, you see how it slowly ramps up there? Yeah. That's what you want. It's good. It's 
good. Let's go over what we did. We use the playback rate. This little yellow one is a linear key. Make sure you change your keys back. Remember, um, smooth keys are green, linear yellow, constant are white. So just remember the colors, you should be good. You want constant and linear keys for, uh, for your time. Um, field of view, you see how we were able to use the field of view. You, you, you don't want to use constant field of view. You either want to use linear or smooth field of view. And then for the camera, you can use whatever you want. To save, all you're going to do is hit start, go to replay editor, and you're just going to save replay. I do both save replay, so. Impossible crook. And it's going to save this replay to this map. So if you come back to this map, uh, it's going to automatically have this replay ready for you to load and we can come back to this next let's see about making jumps look uh, dramatic or something let's do something right here pretty dramatic like this whatever field of view is what's important here and then depth of field without field of view I don't think you can have a good depth of field not sure but we are about to extort the hell out of this field of view oh god all right so I accidentally deleted a frame that I needed good thing though because I can show you something if you hold your best friend r1 you can do the undo button your B your circle button turns into undo and you can bring that frame right back or you could redo it by pressing square. Either or. Doesn't matter. Awesome. <laughs> we can make this a, a whole product placement for uh, Nike SB Travis Scott Lowe's. You know what I'm saying? So. Let's do depth of field now. Now you see how blurry this is? It's terrible, right? Like, why would you... Why would you want this? Who would want this? We're going to go up to my shirt right here. Save that with the camera keyframe. You see, this lo is looking tragic. Blurry as hell, right? But like I'm saying, don't even trip, dog. Uh. All right, see? So the field of view keys are finally set. They look pretty okay. There's a lot of blurriness, but that's the point. Try and get that depth of field going. It's blurry at the start. Might leave it that way. The important part is it's blurry when we do our flip trick. So, we got our feet extend. We gotta fix the flip trick blurriness. How are we going to do that? I don't know. But, let's start with a reference, okay? Now, let's see if we can fix all this bl this blurry mess. Let's see if we can fix it. Let's bring up our frames. Boom, next frame, de DOF, depth of field. This is what we want right here. See that? Boom, keyframe, DOF, that's what you want. I think uh, we're gonna do linear. Yeah, I think we just want linear and smooth for depth of field. So I think like right here, we're gonna wanna set a smooth key. I don't think I need this beginning key. We're just going to set a smooth key right here. And we're going to want to get it in focus. I think the further it is away, the higher up the number has to go. The closer it is, the lower the number goes. I think that's the way it is. Two hours later. So boom, there you can see our skater is pretty much in focus. Let's turn it up a little bit more. Skater is in focus. I want to go to here right now and see if uh, ramping up the depth of field will help this. Six hours later. Okay, now the board's in focus. So, and it looks like it smooths with it. That is fantastic. This part is now not in focus. 
Let's go ahead and focus this. Gotta focus that ass. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. It is nice and focused. My trucks are flailing all over the place. You can see it all. Okay, we catch it here, right? So let's go, and then we gotta reset it. That's just the way it is. We gotta reset it. Eventually. Like having to drag this all the way back to where it was before is mad annoying. But this is what we do to get good clips. This is it. This is how you get the clips. <laughs> we got a new replay editor. This is what you gotta do to use it. Tomorrow. Okay, it is back to where it was. Next, we got time. Time keys. Always use constant keys and yes unless you're trying to do something cray cray 12 seconds later and it looks way better so let's look at our final clip well that looks pretty good that looks pretty good i think that looks pretty good well i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was informative i hope you're able to use the replay editor now and make some really really sick clips if you enjoyed it if you found it useful if you found it helpful leave a like um check out jl nightmare as well he makes a lot of really awesome helpful videos for session stuff that i'm probably not gonna do um check out the uh session mod discord and the official creature uh discord where you could like actually give feedback for the game and the devs will listen uh thank you again for joining this video i hope it was useful see you later <laughs> my name's keep a peace